Hi there and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I'm Byron. We are still in Dragon's Eye. And I went up and rested and now I can identify that. It's a throwing X plus 2. Very useful, but uh, too bad the thief can't use this and the mage can't use this. And that's a ring of pain amplification. This cursed ring fuses itself to the wearer's finger only coming off if a remove curse spell is used on the wearer. Or the finger is cut off, I guess. While it is in use, the wearer suffers extra damage from all melee attacks. Levitarians are known to create these items and distribute them throughout the realms for their own amusement. Yeah, I think this is the one that the torturer dropped, so it makes sense, I guess, for him to have that and use it on his victims. Okay, so yeah, we can sell those items, but we don't really need them now. Oh yeah. I suppose I'm free to do more traps. see what I can do. It's too bad actually that you can't look for traps while being in the shadows. Um there are no traps here, I don't really believe that. Okay. Apparently you there are have no my traps attention. Here. Oh, now I'll you see it. one. Okay, oh, several actually. Well, that's I very nice. Done. Easily done. See anything else that looks suspicious? Fishy? I guess not. Fine. Yes. Alright. Ta da, what do we get here? Oh. Enemy sighted? Uh, excuse me, where? Oh, there. You want to, priest. Death comes for you. Surely took a lot of blood. Yeah, they are, I guess they're all out of arrows now. Okay. What's that? Studded leather. No shit, really? <laughs> Tell me what it does. And leather armor plus two. Is it better than the one you have? Yes, it is. Okay. What? So I say we form up here again. That's pretty much all there is in here. Yes. This banner is made of cloth and has a gold character painted across it. It's just like all the other banners in here. I'm here. Yeah, I know. Ready. Give the word. And we have to heal ourselves. Vita. 
you still can't learn spells? No. Okay. What do you want? I want you to heal everybody. Vita Mortis. So, let's see what's on the other side of that door. Okay, okay, I see. So many jobs. I'll see what I can do. We could start looking for traps. Okay. I'm pretty sure there are traps in here somewhere. For instance, there. See? And there's another one here, I guess. Anything else? I guess not. Orders? Form up. I'll handle it. So. What's that? You want to? You want to? This touch it? This one's mine. I consecrate you for what dark what? The High Baptist interloper, you should have never come here. I don't know what harm you've already done to my kid, but you will pay for it when we twist your flesh into a Hitachi breeding machine. What the fuck? Sorry, what? You wanted to do what? Your luck's run out. I hope we can uh, spell, disrupt your spell. Yes, we can. Anybody else here? Just a few Hitachis. It should be much of a problem. To the butcher's work, then. Uh, no. Time okay. to trim this one down to size. No, fuck it. This ends now. I love it when they start running around obstacles. I'll attend to this one. While trying to reach an enemy. I'm listening. Talking about... I'm ready. Hey! You have my attention. File. Wow, weapon ineffective. That's awesome. I wasn't aware of that. Yes. Something wrong? What? You'll soon be a feast for the crows. So those can only be attacked by magic weapons. A good thing we have those. Did you drop anything nice? I guess not. Understood. Am I being stupid again, right? What's that? Big snake machines. But I guess that's what a snake for pings would be. Okay, so he didn't drop anything, did he? No, the Baptist just died. Fine, fine, Ready. fine. I'm not complaining. Move up here. Too bad I'm all out of healing spells, though.
But I guess we explored much of it now. I'm not really sure whether we can survive the next fight without having Your to heal again. Easily done. Oh, really? Here. Let's spill some blood. This is annoying. Okay, let's do it differently then. I'm here. Buffy time. And I guess then we will have to rest again. Ready. Give the word. Yes. Question is, are there traps in here or not? Uh, my guess is there are traps in here. Orders. What do you want? That's why we should probably be ready. Well to hear a woman's wrath. At least against the priest. Your luck's run out. You have my attention. I'm ready. You too. Yes. Uh, he's not us. This stands now. He's paralyzed. Okay. What? I guess Something one of wrong? the trees got a spell off. Ready. Orders? I guess we're and waiting. Right there. I'm listening. Fine. You want a taste of this? Oh, we're no longer tasted. Bad, was sad. A torture rake marked with dried blood and yeah, burnt bits of flesh over the hand. No, then attack this one here. Okay. He's going for one. We should rest soon. No I hate time to get out of these clothes. Come on, you can this do this. Right. I must rest. Whatever we have to do, it'll keep till morning. Let's rest. I think we've squeezed as much out of this day as we can. Nice. Are you auntie? Who would have oh, guessed? 
case of this. All that things in here. Get in there. Oh. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. It's nice. So everything goes into stealth now. His attack will up 12 and two attacks per round, okay. We should be looking for traps though. Easily done. Just in case, you know. There appears to be no trap. That's locked actually, okay. It looks like a pillar. How can a pillar be locked now? But apparently it's a, it's a chest. So, that's a baleful male. Immune to dire charm, charm person. Uh, confusion, command, rigid thinking. Minus two charisma, but is not usable by good characters. So, script it. This armor was crafted in 1221 DR by a Durga smith working for a vengeful priest of Bane named Alary of West Waterdeep. During Alary's early days in the priesthood, he frequently provoked and attacked agents of Soon. Soon, eh? Soon? Whatever. Unfortunately for Ariel, Lady Firehair's followers employed charm magic to seize the, the Bane. Benitez antics. Once he had been charmed, Alary was commanded to perform all sorts of embarrassing actions in the streets of Waterdeep. After many years, Alary decided to honor his god of hate by creating a suit of armor that would protect him from charm magic. He communed with the spiritual minions of Bane um, to discover the materials and rituals necessary for the suit's creation. Following his master's instructions, he murdered 13 married couples and had their wedding rings woven that's bad, into the hem of the male. He then killed 13 elves and bathed in their blood, uttering prayers for 13 hours. When he was finished, this armor protected him from the magic of the Sunnids and filled him with irrepressib irrepressible hate. Array went on crusade against the agents of Sun, Lyra and Hanari Kenali for three years. His killing spree ended when elven archers and priests of Corellon Larethian laid a trap for him on the road going north from water deep. So yeah, nobody can use that. What's that here? A medium shield if I don't know what it does. And the potions go to you of course. Oh you could have a few more. Ten, ten. So it's a um, medium shield, no shade really. The bitch queen's envoy. Representatives of Amberly, the so-called bitch queen, were given this shield to display to the court of Ishtishia on trips to the elemental plane of water. It, <coughs> it protected its bearers on numerous occasions. The envoys of the queen of the sea rarely abused the power of the device, but it only took one mischievous priest to lose the item. Legends say that Heron of Amboli used the shield sanctuary to attack and destroy a number of elementals before the water lord Ishtishia shifted the priest to the uh, para-elemental plane of ice where he froze to death. From there it is believed that the shield floated around the plains for many years only recently resurfacing in Ferron. Armor class plus 3. A water elemental is ignored a baron combat. Not usable by lawful creatures. Okay, you're not lawful, right? You're just neutral. Ding ding! Armor class of minus 9. Okay, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Yeah, we can't use that. And that's a potion of fortitude. Okay. Anyone else? No. So, yeah, well, you great, right? Attention. So, I guess we have to return to that spot now. Oh, but I Got guess it. I have to rest now before I go in here. Pretty much sure. You coming? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I guess it will be better. I'm fatigued and out of healing spells and out of buffing spells, so yeah. Hold on for a second while I go up a level and rest. And we're back. Fully healed and fully buffed to open the final door. Done.
Go in there. Enemy sighted, no shit. So, it has come to this, has it? I did not expect a group of natives to interfere with my vendetta. Why have you come here killing my minions? Uh, do you know of the Heartstone My interest gem? in the Heartstone gem is personal. I have been waging a war for quite some time. This world is simply another battlefield. The gem is one of several instruments I use to fight my battles. So what is this battle all about anyway? It is a war of principles. It is a campaign waged on behalf of fundamental truths. Oceans of belief wearing away at basalt pillars of understanding that have held up the simple religions and philosophies of worlds like this for millennia. And the Hearthstone gem? How does this... Uh, how does it fit all into this? Oh, so you're trying to tell me that all the things I believe in are going to come tumbling down someday because the secret world you're fighting? Yeah, that's nice. That's a paladin's answer. Yes. One minute you're spouting verse and the next minute you're dead quiet. Would you mind elaborating that <laughs> on that a bit? If I felt I were doing something wrong, I would apologize. Your mind cannot understand the heart of the matters I speak of. Every once in a while, people in your world gain glimpses into mine. They hear voices on the wind, carrying songs mumbled by bloody tongues in the sweet language of pain. You call them madmen. You should recognize them as prophets. And what are these prophets hearing that makes them go mad? It sounds like you're waging some kind of war. It is a war of principles. It is We've a campaign waged that. on behalf of fundamental truths. The gem is an item with incredible powers of divination. Only those with special relationships with the natural or supernatural may use it. It gives sight beyond sight, even penetrating physical and magical barriers in its revelations. I am not using it to cover up my affairs. I am using it for personal reasons. There's a problem. The gem could help us provide warmth for Kaldaha and prevent the cold from killing everyone in town. The people of the town need the gem more than you do. You cannot have it. It is mine. When I am finished with it, my faithful servants will have it. If they fail on their plans, simply take it from them. I have little patience when it comes to incompetence. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I like your attitude, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you give me the chance. You have just destroyed a good portion of my army and are now demanding that I hand over more resources to you. I believe I will be doing the taking now. Pray that your souls are prepared. Okay, wait a second. So we attack this odd little girl. Ready and willing. Cost someone a monster in Ready. I'm here. What do you need? You are attacking this one. What the fuck is that? This is Ixunomai. Okay. Wait a second. Did I screw this one up? You didn't cast it, right? No, I guess I screwed this one up. Then haste them again. Ah, yeah. It shouldn't be deep to the shadows, right? <laughs> hey, she's dead already. Really? Okay. Then I guess we didn't need uh, the support for the summon thingy one. here. Experience we get. Ooh, 46,000. That was actually rather easy. I don't like you attacking my page. See? I will clear the field presently. Your luck's run out. So, yeah, she costs the dispel. That's why it's nice to have a second taste in store. Oh well, okay. If I hadn't rested and buffed myself again, I guess then it would have been pure stupid. Orders right? done. Oh, it's dead. Okay. I'm listening. So, what did you drop? That's the Hearthstone gem. No shit. You have my attention. Why well, we get 30,000 XP for getting the Hearthstone gem? So many jobs. You should start so looking for traps. Time. Okay. Oh, there, oh, there's a trap here. I didn't see that one. Good thing nobody stepped on that. 
Uh, you know, just walk around a bit and see whether there are any more traps. Oh, here are traps. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks. And let me guess, they are probably locked to... Yes. Who would have thought? Yeah, grrr. Didn't I click on that? Thanks. Back yes. To you. Um, I'm on it. Did they drop anything useful? Arrows. Okay, so she was a demon of some sort. I know she has like four arms or even eight, six, I guess six, and the tail of a snake. Whatever we have to do, it'll I'm keep exhausted. till morning. I'm not really sure whether she was evil. More arrows I think we've one. squeezed as much out of this day as we can. Yeah, yeah. So, what does the Hearthstone gem do, by the way? A large. Amber colored gem the size of a child's head. The Hearthstone gem is allegedly a silver knight artifact that used to rest in the town of Kaldahar. It reputedly has great powers of divination, but you have no idea how to use it. Good, let's take a look at those chests. What? Everybody form up like here, so we're Ready. In close proximity. I'll handle it. Yeah, money and jewels. Skulls. Really? A locked and trapped uh, chest full of skulls. What's that? A helmet. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Didn't I Yo, unlock machines. all that shit? It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So, translocation arrows. These potentially dangerous arrows are exceedingly rare, typically only appearing as individual items. As weapons, they are abysmally poor. As strategic tools, they are quite useful. These weapons frequently used by melee fighters were frequently used by melee fighters with competent bow skills. Once they had fired off their translocation arrow, they could enter melee and finish a protected target at close range. On a successful hit, the user is transported next to the target. Okay. Bolts plus two. Yeah, since my melee fighters are not good with ranged weapons, we probably don't. We're not going to use that. Lots of gems. Potion. Another potion. What does the helm do? Yeah, bolts. That's a potion of storm. F no, high hill giant strength. Okay, and heroism. Yeah, well, go in there. And dead man's face. Immune to spells, horror, cloak, and fear. Charisma is down to two. Uh, down by two, so to say. It's reduced by two. These ancient helms were once common among the wreckhead men barbarians who came to what is now known as Icewind Dales. The designs of the armor is relatively simple, a large a plain iron helm with a hinged faceplate. Once the basic construction of the helm had been finished, Katzen would tool the image of a dead warrior onto the faceplate. Uh, the name of the warrior and a one word description of his death were carved into the forehead of the mask. The helm was then left in the dead warrior's funeral pyre. The priests believed that the mask would hide the dead man's fear of the afterlife when he was judged by tempers. After a month had passed, the helms of particularly valiant warriors were recovered by the priests. Over the next few years, the priests praised the valiant warriors by name in their daily rituals. 
According to legend, if Tempest found a warrior to be truly valiant, the helm would gain the power to make the warrior immune to fear. This particular helm bears the ancient name Siklev and the word axe. Okay, so you wouldn't run away, but they don't run away that often anyway, so I don't think we need that. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much all. Um, Here. So we will. Agreed. I don't know. There was this. M Priestess here, Eugenia. What her, what's her name? I will try to see if I can find her again. Now that we killed everybody in here, and maybe she will now return to Calder. So hold on for a second. Well, apparently the revealed mother is no longer here. I have no idea where she might be. Um, so I will end this video now, and we'll see each other in the next video when I return to Calder. So thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.